Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to undersketch for caricatures. Um, this is kind of a, a question somebody asked me on the uh, questions and the com on the comments of the YouTube video, but uh, I do this thing called undersketching, and what undersketching is is when I look at the person... I'm sorry, i got to mention this is all within the context of caricaturing in real life. Um, you know when you're doing it from person, uh, a person sitting in front of you. Sometimes uh, if you want kind of like a net to kind of like catch you if you fall kind of thing. Uh, I do an under sketch beforehand, which takes literally like five seconds or something like that, you know, very quickly. It could be, and I'll usually grab anything I'm coloring with, like whatever, and I'll just like sloppily, uh, you know, put down a head and then, you know, map it in there. And then what I do is I grab that, you know what I mean? I grab that under sketch per se, and I slide it underneath the paper. And this is all regular computer paper. And you can see it, you can see a little bit through it. And then I can start my actual marker right, the marker sketch. So what I want to do is I want to go over the thought process of how, let me move the camera, the thought process of what kind of goes into that, what kind of goes into the under sketching. It's really easy, guys, really easy, but I will talk to you about it. So when I do an under sketch, it's going to be a vague first impression. I'm going to go through seven pictures, just random people I found on the internet. I literally typed in random random faces on uh, Google and I found seven faces that I thought were kind of different enough to kind of tell you how I would under sketch because a big part of under sketching and a big part of caricaturing is kind of your uh, uh, interpretation, your impression, your uh, kind of opinion, uh, you know, your opinion of what is your decision making, right? When it comes to that face. So we're going to look at this first face right here. And like, if I was to under sketch this guy, I would look at him for the first thing I noticed right off the bat, his eyes look kind of long like a little bit elongated and he has that slightly lazy look and the axis of his eyes are almost, um, you know what I mean by axis? The axis of his eyes are, uh, axis would be like an invisible line through one of his eyes. They're almost like downward like this. They're not up like a woman or like an Asian or, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like an average, you know, stereotype, whatever. But this is like, they're kind of downward. So I would actually like under sketch him by, let me see, am I on the middle of the page? I would under sketch him probably like by drawing a quick, let's see, like I, I actually on, honestly also see his head is kind of like a box from the top, almost like Frankenstein. And he's got this kind of monumental chin, chin shape. And then I would probably like draw a circle here for his eyes. This is like I said, fast impression, like really fast for underneath your paper. Draw something like that. And I would probably leave it like that right there to be honest and then I would literally slide that underneath see that would be like my impression of this guy's head he's got kind of a square top of his head uh, and like I said he has that kind of the, those eyes really stand out to me so that's a quick one let's zoom into the next one bum, bum, I move it next one this guy is really easy uh, I mean in terms of like uh, the exaggeration this one is weird because there's almost so much you could exaggerate on this guy right like this under sketch how would you take care of this guy. And it would be like for one, quick impression. Remember, quick impression, don't overthink. That's the thing, do not think about it longer than you have to. That's actually kind of the worst thing you could do. I see a giant head on this guy. My under sketch would be something like that. Maybe like a gigantic ice cream cone. Uh, and then he's got like these giant ears. So my under sketch would be something like that. And he's got a huge nose too, so I might even do that third shape. So that'd be like these three giant shapes, and then uh, like this huge shape for his head and a really tiny chin. You know what I mean? And then his eyes would be like anything goes. I'd have to figure that out. Probably would make them uh, smaller relatively to his glasses. But see, this is what an undersketch is. Hopefully by this time you know what I'm talking about. All I'm going to talk about is the undersketch. So don't get to be like, why aren't you caricaturing him? You know, I'm talking about before that this would be like that few seconds before I start putting my line art in and you're building your framework on top of it you know so I'm just gonna do these pretty rapid fire not rapid fire um, well rapid fire enough uh, this one this is a very uh, like the way I call this is a very uh, attractive uh, female generic attractive female type you know what I mean that's pretty much what comes out to me right now I literally like sometimes I would just put it for placement her, her exaggeration is a little bit different I might even Make her eyes bigger to make it more flattering. Uh, if you're into that, into making you know stuff more flattering, uh, because girls seem to like their hair like that. I mean, their hair, their eyes like that. They like it more like bigger, bigger eyes, kind of Disney-esque eyes. 
And that's kind of it. Not a lot's coming out to me. Just maybe her nose type is a little bit high. But that would be literally right here. This is what I would put for my, like I said, under sketch before I start. You know, that would be what I would do. And like I said, it takes literally as long as what I'm doing right now. That's why I can just, you know, these are so easy to do. And actually, if you want, you can practice these on your own to kind of get impressions of it where you're not actually, like I said, uh, thinking further into the line art. You're just doing impressions. This one's crazy. I picked this one out because I thought this guy's a wild eyes. It's very obvious. First thing I think of is you got a really gaunt look. I'm thinking of like a kind of a longer gaunt head. You know what I mean? It makes his head uh, look longer just because it's so skinny. So you're pushing that aspect of it. You're pushing that aspect of it. And his eyes are like, you could really get, you could get, I'll, you know, you could get really fucked up. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't use bad words around. But you could go crazy. And I've seen guys do this where you make their eyes kind of halfway float off their head, almost like that thing from Ah Real Monsters, because this guy's eyes are, woo, they're going way to the, you know, outside of his head. So you could kind of do that and be messed up with it and then, you know, put line art over that. And his nose, again, comes down. He has a big bulb of the nose there. And like I said, this gaunt look, really gaunt. He's got kind of big lips, actually. And that would be like again my under sketch. That would be my under sketch right there. Boom. And then you know like, they want I would go and like put that underneath and then go into the next one. But that would be my vague idea of him. Um, next one. This one, uh, I, this one I picked because I, I think the hair has a lot to do with the composing the page. That's another thing. Like my quick impression of him under sketch would be like, all right, he's got kind of a generic ish face. You know, he's got kind of a wide face if any, if anything. A little bit wide, just because he has that baby fat, you can kind of push that. And then I would, what I would do with these types, is, and, and this includes women sometimes, is I would make the hair part of the composition. I'd make his neck, see that would be like his head up here, his neck a little bit longer. And then I would make his hair be a big part of the, uh, the composing the page. I will make his neck a little bit longer here. See, and I would make his uh, like hair a big chunk of that. And these are pretty fun too, you know. I, would, I would like just practice these to get impressions of shapes. You know what I mean? What shapes do you want uh, to kind of, you know, pra practice uh, head shapes essentially? But you're practicing them very quickly, like I said, this, this quick. And if you want, go back to some and then start, you know, overlaying. See, that would be my vague, my, my under. That would be my under sketch for this guy. The sixth one, this one, I picked it also because he does have kind of a big bulb of his head here. His skull is very big. I'd start with a roundness. But he also has his skinny look, if you really want to exaggerate. I'll pull it down like that, and this would be like his mouth over here. Big head, like I said. His eyes are pretty large, too. His ears, if you really want to go nuts, uh, and again, to what degree you go nuts is up to you. You know what I mean? I think that's why some guys get really addicted to this stuff is you can go crazy. You know what I mean? You can go gigantic, freak, crazy, or you can just go a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? You can make it like, like Dumbo ears, you know, um, it's really up to you. You know, his nose is pretty long too. A lot of that has to do with type, but that's another thing. This is just under sketching. And then I would like, again, That'd be one, a good base to start with. You slide it under. And then let's go to that last one. Uh, baby. Babies tend to have almost always this kind of shape like a wedge. I don't know how to say it, like Tweety Bird Head. And I'll, I'll usually throw that underneath there. And they tend to have no neck. You know what I mean? Throw in that little bit there, but they tend to have no neck. Their shoulders connect to the top of their body kind of thing. And their, their eyes tend to be huge, depending on where they are. Sometimes they're way to the bottom. This guy has them more toward the middle. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I would still make them bigger regardless. It looks cute and parents like it, you know. But that's, like again, up to you whether you want to please your parents or the parents or not. And that would be my under sketch for the baby. So, anyways, I hope this has been kind of informative. Um, like I said, just to recap on what this is.
You know what I mean? Because I, I can only imagine people like zooming into the middle of the video and they're like, what? What is this? Um, you're getting vague impressions of the head and this is what I use to slide underneath. Um, slide underneath paper when I'm doing live art, when I'm doing live caricature art, I do those quick things and that will be, like I said, my net. I'll be like, okay, cool. I at least have that shape in my head. You know what I mean? It won't be all for nothing if I screw it up or something, but you probably don't want, if you do them for a while, you really won't screw them up. Um, but you always have that base and see how easy it is. Now you can just think about the line art entirely. You just go with your, whoops, you just go with your marker and you're like, all right, I got my shape there. You know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? And you can kind of move on from that. And it's, it's, it's so much more freeing, you know what I mean? To only think about things at one, one at a time, so much more freeing, you know what I mean? And your art will come out so much better. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Check out my Patreon. I'm trying to, like, boost that. I'm going to change that up. Um, yeah, like I said, my Patreon is uh, kind of an ongoing... It's kind of like an ongoing Kickstarter, you know what I mean? It's a tip jar. Uh, just throw some... Uh, if you make a donation, uh, there's, like, some rewards. And you can tell me for which channel. I have a few different channels on different things. So when you donate, um, just let me know what channel you donated for. And I'll, you know, uh, you know, give you a reward based on that channel. So... Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.